P37, what's up? Man, it's windy out here today. We're gonna try to make it happen, guys. Welcome in, welcome in. It's been a while. Been a while, been a while, been a while. See if I can't get some better views here for you. Welcome in. If you're just uh, if you're watching this as a playback instead of a live stream, if I catch any fish today, uh, I will put the links in the description as soon as I'm available to do that. So probably tonight. Uh, we're catching catfish for food today. As uh, long as they're not too big, I'm going to keep them. Got a big cooler up front with ice in it, and we're going to ice them down. Marulo! We're going to uh, ice them down and get some fish for the family this Thanksgiving. Uh, something different today. I got some old rods on the boat. I still got my anvil rod right here, but uh, I'm not exclusive to anvil anymore. But we got an uh, anvil rod there, the extra heavy. And I got my Muddy River collection out here. I got the um, Blue Cat, the Paula, and the Flathead rod. I got one of Freddy's FOA double Y rods. What's up, G95? Yep, I'm making one right now. I got the uh, cameras on, so hopefully we can catch fish. And I got this Trophy Cat tackle rod. Hey, rod knockers, man. I miss you guys, too. Yeah, man. I want to feel that cooler. All right, so... I got a weird situation. I got current going out, but I got wind. I got the wind blowing sideways. So I was set just a minute ago, but since I started talking to you, something has happened. You guys distracted me. I'm guessing you guys can hear me all right. I was gonna go live on StreamYard, but it wouldn't recognize the microphone. I was like, yeah, I definitely need a microphone today. Man, I hate the wind, man. I could probably go around a couple corners and avoid the wind, but there's, I marked some fish here. There's a deep drop off. What's up, Kelly? Yeah, it is nice. It's a little chilly and windy, but it's nice. Nice and sunshiny. Woohoo! Yep, yeah, I got the whole week off. Gonna try to fish as much as possible, as much as my body will let me. Really, my body ain't used to this anymore. Uh, all right, I think we're trying to get set again. The tide's gonna change here soon. Oh yeah! All right, I got this big trophy cat tackle, heavy action rod. Mister uh, Mister Gadget won this. I don't know if y'all remember Mister Gadget, but we never hooked up and. It's basically brand new. I got a dropper loop on this, a three-way rig. I'm gonna try something new. Big uh, rose shad head there. Got a 10 ounce weight on it. Let's see if I can chunk it out here, back cast it. I didn't go very far. <laughs> Put the big trophy cat tackle rod out there with the Huge headpiece. We'll see how that works. This current is current is not the problem. It's the wind blowing the boat sideways. If you think about getting a pontoon boat, you really got to think about that if you're fishing windy conditions, because it's basically a giant wind sail. Oh. And then I got a small bait here on my Paula rod, Paula Smith rod chunk that out on a demon dragon a demon dragon yep I haven't used a three-way in a while but the three-way has my official PB so I figure I should start trying that again I got the blue cat rod out here with a traditional Santee Cooper rig just the float and a rattle got a nice piece of uh, rose shad on there eight ounce sinker chunk that out Ugh. not gonna throw out far if unless we moved crazy just a minute ago filet what's up art um, we should be casting in a 47 foot drop off right there 
Last year around this time, I caught about a 40 pound blue cat from here. Here's the brand newest rod to the fleet, FOA double L, double Y. I keep saying double L, what's up Southland? Uh, make sure you hit that thumbs up. This is the six footer. He sent me a, a five footer as well, but I wanted a variety today. So I'm gonna try the six footer today. I got the all black PC fun 50 on there with a demon dragon. I got that fast demon dragon on that one. Ooh, that wind is killer. All right. Put that one in there. I'm gonna put six rods out today, guys. Got another piece of uh, shad on there, rose shad, American shad, whatever you want to call it. It's the uh, Muddy River flathead rod. Hey, Bill, I wish you wasn't working either, man. Be a lot easier. Uh, no, no float on this one. It's just straight Carolina rig. I imagine the crabs are probably going to tear this up, but we'll try it anyway. Uh oh, got something bumping the blue cat already. That's not good. That's typical crab bite there. That's what we don't want. Ooh, that scared me. I thought we had a fish. And the last but not least, I got the uh, Anvil Extra Heavy with a Brute Demon Dragon, 10 ounce sinker on it, a giant piece of chicken. I'm gonna try to launch this, get it out inside the boat. There we go. All right, y'all, we fishing. Got the GoPros on, try to make a video too if we can. Oh, 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 Muddy River's getting hit. Flathead, blue cat's getting hit. I don't like that. That's a little little tiny catfish bite. Although I am fishing for food today. We're on knockers cast for the fences. I'm ready to see them rods blow over. Make sure you hit the thumbs up, guys. What's up, Michael? Leedy? Some Chinese food down there. <laughs> I am officially cut off from the Chinese food for a while. I gotta get my butt healthy. I know it's Thanksgiving. You're like, yeah, great timing. Small water, what's up? F away! There's your rod right there, Bo. Got the six footer out there. I'm cut offed, offed from the Chinese place. All right, what's up, what's up? Yep, catfish dog, Josh Pernum. Uh-oh. Getting lots of tippy taps, Paula rods getting hit now. That's gotta be frabs, guys. Dink, what's up, Skull Rush? Rod knockers, no sweet tea and pie. <laughs> now the boat's swinging. It might be one of those frustrating days, guys, but at least I'm out on the water. What's up, Connor Chairman? Thank you. I hadn't been out in the water since Brian B's uh, Keep It or Toss It tournament. I 
I'm just glad the trolling motor's hanging on. Just kidding, I remember coming. Ah, it stinks. fishing and my money says we eat fish <laughs> we'll catch something today my mom was just in the hospital and um, she's had some digestive stuff going on and she doesn't eat a lot of she doesn't like meat what's up Chad she said the texture of meat since she got her dentures she doesn't like it I was like well, what about fish she goes oh I love fish I was like okay Mission granted. Mission accepted. Because nobody wants store bought catfish. Thanks, Jim. Yeah, man, I'm. I love it. That's one good thing about my job is you get these, you know, these major holidays. You get some days off. Thank you, Kevin Fishes. I was going to do a camping video, but it's it's going to, like, it's chilly right now, say in the 50s, but it's going to heat up to 75, 78. It's too hot. Too hot for me to camp. Nope, no shell crackers left. I gave all them away. We have zero fish in the freezer. Thanks, Jim. She's doing good right now. Never turn down prayers, though, that's for sure. I like your zipper fix. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yep. Both of those zippers uh, broke in half. I needed something to put on there quick. tide is supposed to turn here in about an hour or so. Ooh, that big headpiece just got hit. Ooh. That would be exciting. Most exciting. <laughs> A rod I hadn't used in two years going down with that big headpiece on it, that'd be fun. What's up, Pete? Is it Pier 37? Now make sure you hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't. Like I said, I was gonna go live on the um, stream yard so people could pop up, but man, this wind is so bad, you wouldn't be able to hear me. So I didn't put subscriber only mode on. Dag nab it. Might stay in the spot another 10, 15 minutes. Just to say we gave it a shot. I'm pretty sure I got grass all over. FOA Boom Squad 24 months. Thank you, brother. That means I can squash some trolls. I'm ready. True that. True that. I know this big this anvil rod's got grass or crab swimming with it. One of the two. It's l -l -l loaded. Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. 
Freddie Rock got hit. Hmm. Choo choo. You know the wind catches pontoons quite a bit of the room. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you gotta trade, you know, just like with any boat, you gotta trade off different things. I don't know if there is a perfect boat for all conditions. Time to take the kids to school. All right, Stan, thanks for dropping in. morning Donald I miss bills thank you Bill remember 26 months appreciate that How did this one get? I guess I cast this one short. Full of grass. Either that has got a crab on it. Nope, full of grass. That's what I figured was going to be on it. Boats turning, doing all kinds of crazy stuff now. Rod knockers, 33 months. Thanks, my friend. Appreciate that. Goodness gracious, the grass. Tyler Coley, what's up, man? Goodness gracious. Yeah, we might have to move already. Probably one of those days I shouldn't have gone live because there's so many variables here. Goodness gracious, the grass. That's like three pounds of grass. What the heck, man? Oh. 
Ah, I'm afraid I'm gonna break the tip off of this rod. That's no bueno. Hopefully it's not one of these days all day, guys. <laughs> I think these guys have crossed the flathead and the anvil rod. Crabzilla hanging on. Man, I wish. Goodness gracious. Yeah, we might have to go around the corner or something. Hey, Dan. Come on, flathead rod. Don't judge me. I'm rusty. We're definitely not staying here, guys. Yeah. <laughs> if anybody likes kimchi, I got all the seaweed in the world to make you kimchi with. Time when I could catch catfish all day. Oh, the grass is pulling drag.
I did uh, purchase a Hellcat rod yesterday through Tackle Bandit. I got me one of them yellow ones. They're having a Black Friday sale. Sheesh. I also got some Freddy line coming in. I'm gonna try that out. I also bought some of his beads and some other stuff. I got one more rod to reel in, guys, then we'll relocate or something. Look at this rod, man. Look how much grass is on that rod. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> that is a heavy action rod. Just so you know kind of what I'm dealing with there. Feel sorry for me, people. Feel sorry for me. Jeez. Man. That Kevin, he's a trooper, man. I feel so bad for him. He's out here fishing, I'm at work, but that grass just won't leave him alone. That's a little Jimmy. Suffering succotash. <clears throat> Wish I had a fish that heavy. That would be awesome. Of course, when the grass does come up in a big blob, it looks like a stingray or something. There you go. Tell you what, that three-way rig really does make it easier to get the grass off your line. There's one positive thing there. I just broke my rod. Well. I just broke the eyelid out of this trophy cat rod. See that? That stinks. I hadn't used it in two years, and I wonder if that had something to do with it. <laughs> Quit your complaining. That stinks. That really stinks. Oh well. Another one bites the dust. Today we'll be fishing with five rods. Hey, what's up, Duani? I think we might, hmm, we need to get out of this wind, number one. 
If you guys will stick with me, we'll just go on down to the barges. These barges. We'll go down to these barges and check and see if they have any catfish. What do you think? You want to go to these barges? Huh? Good morning, S and T. I think that's what we're gonna do, guys. Cause, uh, or we'll 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 go someplace where there's not a lot of wind. How about that? That stinks about that rod, though, man. Hopefully PJ wasn't watching. Dude, how are you gonna break my rod on live stream? Twas an accident, sir. Twas. I'm on Thanksgiving break, brother. Nine two two. We're gonna cruise on down to New Orleans. Get us a filet. That's right, anywhere but the grass fields. Yeah, man. You uh, you got to vote for the right calendar. Like next year, we're changing our calendar up, and you can either vote for a five-day fall break and a three-day Thanksgiving, or a three-day fall break and a five-day Thanksgiving. <laughs> Motoring Guerrero Bagre. Fish, man. It's not that cold. It's 
warming up. It started off in the 50s. It's close to, it's, it's almost out of the 50s, maybe. It's chilly when you're running, though. Ooh, that wind is chilly. Cool the cats. I do have most of the river to myself. I've only seen two other boats this morning. Water temp is 60.55, surface temp. That's right. <laughs> Sorry, Dewani. Hopefully. If I can get past the grass and the wind. The only thing about going down river is there's not a, not a lot of windbreak. I probably should be going up river. Yeah, I'm gonna turn around. It's getting worse. Yeah, it's getting worse and worse the farther I go down river. We got to find some wind cover or else we're gonna be miserable all day. Fifty one people. Oh, making my nose run. Let's go down river or up river. We won't have to worry about crabs. It's one positive. It's much more pleasant going this way without the wind blowing in my face. In your face. Yes, sir. Koopa Troopa. Super Duper. I wanted to go to the lake because I have all these Dragon Master supplies that they sent me, like their weights and their floats and stuff. It's just too windy. A lot of guys like that. I just don't. I don't like being sloshed around all day. Me and Bill have done that a few times over the summer. The summer's different 
because it's warm at least. But in the winter time, it's just it's just miserable. What's up, Avid? Avid, I caught some of your show last night. I just, I didn't want to chat because I had the TV on. Y'all were live for a long time. Mark, hey, El Catfish Grande. Yeah, see here it's not as choppy because we have this tree line across from us. But still not a good place to fish. It's all flat. I sure hope I can catch a few. Cause I spent twelve dollars on ice yesterday. <laughs> Not twelve, ten dollars. Hey Curtis. Yep, I'll be there. size matters thank you yeah I do have an enclosure but it's still not fun I think it's okay to set your boundaries of what kind of person you are and I'm just really not a winter fisherman I just I don't enjoy it I know some people in Chad would kill to live in an area where they could fish all year like I do, but if it's 30 degrees, choppy, windy, I don't want to be out there. But a lot of people catch hogs that time of year. It's just what you gotta do, you gotta Figure out your priorities. I think what I'm going to focus on, uh, yeah, exactly, Mark. And you live where it's freezing cold. I wouldn't even want to go outside if I live where you live. I think I'm going to turn into a boat camper this winter. I'll still take a few rides, but. Forty-four degree. Whew. I'm sure I would cool cats. Who is tending the principal's office? We're on uh, Thanksgiving break, so nobody. <laughs> This wind is terrible. Should have went up river to begin with. I'm holding the I'm holding the tripod. That's the wind shaking the phone like that. I got this nice road mic on, so it's hard for you to tell. I don't know how much wind noise you are getting. David, it's in the 50s right here. 
you know, out on the water, it feels 10 degrees cooler. These guys just passed me going striper fishing. Good luck. Or maybe reds, fishing for reds. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people think, a lot of kids just think we, uh, we live at the school. Yeah, it really is. Road Mike's is where it's at. That's why I said I was going to do StreamYard, so if anybody else was fishing or wanted to pop up, they could. But it wouldn't let me use these microphones, and I knew, I knew that was dead. Got a little bit more of a ride, guys. I wasted a quarter of a tank of gas to come down here because I caught some nice ones last year this time, but it wasn't windy like this. This is the 70 foot hole. Good morning, McWhiskers. <laughs> Am I a little more gray? It's stressful, but it's a different kind of stress. I got. Uh, I was telling somebody. Oh, it was on the the tournament Saturday. I was saying I got a thousand more dollars, and I can give me a trailer, and then I can raise money for a third tune. Then we'll be traveling. We'll be styling a profile, and then. And I can make trips like Chad and Freddie and Chris and Telly and go down to the Tennessee or up. It's about nine hours for me. I feel much better making that trip with two axles instead of just one. Hey Bill, I need to uh, I need to get with you, man, and get you to help me get this water out of these tunes. Yeah, new engine. I'm hoping that with a third tune on it, the 90 will push it a little faster. What's up, Uncle B? Thank you, McWhiskers. I think this boat is only rated for a 90, actually.
Yeah, man. I think once I get uh once I get the third tune on there in the trailer, the next thing is I'm gonna put a, a hard top on it. But I'm gonna put the hard top from the back of this where I'm sitting now all the way over the front and leave the back end open and then uh, make me an enclosure from the front all the way to this back seat. Yeah. Pontoons, I don't know, I've seen some pontoons do some speed before, but they weren't 20 foot long, they were 24. All right, Curtis. <laughs> a 200 would sink my bank account is what it would sink you're talking about like 20 grand Almost there. We'll stop here and fish Bill's favorite spot, the bridge. What's up, Bobo? All right. I probably shouldn't be live. <laughs> I spent 20 minutes in the first spot and caught 100 pounds of grass. Hopefully it'll improve here in a minute. The wind's really bad. What's up, Joey?
Thanks, man. I just want a few catfish to take home and eat. Give to my mama. Some of my staff at work want me to cook some catfish again, too. They don't understand. Hey, Jody. Yep, I'm trying to remember how to catfish. Right now we're only doing 20 miles an hour. We're going upriver against the current. But when I was going uh, uh, downriver, I was getting about 24. I might try this hole here, guys. Woo! Abrupt stop. There's about a 60 foot hole right here. Let's go see what to do, what to be, what it is. <laughs> Doesn't look like the current might be helping us here, but all oh, that sun feels good when you stop moving. Hmm. See some squirrels up on the bank. That would be tasty. Bow, bow. Mm. Yeah, we want we want eggs. As soon as we get out of this house, hopefully we can have a place where we can have chickens. Bunch of bait down there. It's a good start. Ah shoot, let's try it. Why not? Let's see. Spotty lock, please. Mooch's grasses. World dumplings. Mmm. I know my um my uncle makes a good squirrel perlo. Alright, what are you gonna do, current? It's kind of swirling. Swirling all around. I might just drop it straight down, see what happens. Let's see. Current going that way. Let's see. Kind of like a backflow situation I got here. Now, if I can only recall my epic catfish lessons about backflow. Hmm. Bueller. Need to move up though. Danny Stone lessons, not Danny Stone. <laughs> Epic catfish lessons about backflow. Oh, it's much warmer here. The wind's being blocked by these trees. Man, it feels good. You 
see the gears turning. Yeah, I got all kinds of swirls and all kinds of stuff. Never caught anything super huge from this area, but again, really just want some eater catfish. All the way down. All right, this one's still got some bait. Let's see. Grab me a few chunks of shad. A few chunky poos. This stuff does not freeze well. I might have wasted my money on all this. Catch your own bait or be satisfied with what you can buy. And the guy that was selling the fresh bait yesterday had already gone to church. I missed him. So I had to buy some frozen bait. But really, I was just thinking, well, I just really need chicken. So I just brought the, the American Chad just for... Uh, the second option. I was too lazy to go catch bluegill yesterday. Didn't feel like it. So yeah, I get what I got. <laughs> hmm. So now the current's shifting back up on me. Yeah, I need some, uh, need to remember my backflow lessons. Because we're turning around now. What the what? Well, that's not cool. We have turned completely around. That bait's gone that quick. All right. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, okay. We're just gonna cruise up here to the bridge like I said we were gonna do.
Good morning. I can keep baits in the water for more than 10 minutes. We might catch a fish today. No. I envy those of you who can pull up on a spot and just throw rods out and there's no like grass or things like that to get hung up on. Thanks, Bob. Grass? What's that? Woo! Saw a big carp jump. It was a dark one. It was a dork corp. He, he was dork. He was dorker than your average cor corp. Current is busting through here. Low bridge. We 
got the wind back though. Dag nabbit. Dag nabbit. Doesn't smell good over here, it smells like poop. Fart bubbles. <laughs> See if she'll hold. It's pretty strong current. It's holding okay. some shadow in here. Chunk the blue cat rod out. Ooh, that was a good one. Me a big old piece of shad here. A good piece right there. Troll motor's working hard, boy. I think we'll just use four rods for right now. I'll leave this fifth one over here. All right. all the fish away all right guys we're fishing again
trolling motor is probably on 10. No. David. First spot that was uh, very bad conditions with current, crosswind. Got zero, zero fish, guys, zero. I already got grass clumped up on this one, though. About to make me cuss here in a minute. I can't keep baits in the water. That's why I can't catch fish. Ah, <sighs> Usa. Oh, there's a fish. Okay, we got one. We got one hooked up. All right, guys, we've moved to this bridge spot here throughout this big chunk of Chad and just got hooked up. Don't know how big he is, but he's pulling pretty hard. Could be the current. Definitely be the current messing with him. I really don't mind if he's too big because I'm looking for some fish to eat. I was just getting very frustrated because <laughs> I can't, can't stay out of this grass. Hey, this rod over here is just bent with grass on it. This guy's swimming. Oh, come on. He's a fighter though, whatever he is. He's been in this heavy action rod. Extra heavy, actually. Could have grass on him, too. I'm just happy to feel something on the end of the line besides grass. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He could be a giant. It was that big piece of shad I threw out there. Ooh, he's pulling. He's pulling, guys. It might be bigger than I think it is. Ooh, ooh. He is digging. Oh! Better loosen the drag. Look at that sucker. He is digging. Oh, oh, there he goes. I don't want to pull the hook though. He is not giving up. I can't reel down on him. Might have a decent one, guys. He's pulling drag right now. All right, fella, come on. Tighten that drag down a little bit. Heavy current, lots of grass. He 
He's got to have some weight on him. There he goes. He just rolled for a minute there. I can't get him to come up. Might be a big old flathead. There he goes. Make a little headway on him now. Oh, he's going back down. Might have a decent fish, guys. Might have a decent fish here. There's the weight, I see the weight. It didn't look that big, it looked like a blue. Must just be this current. It's a decent blue cat. It's a decent blue cat. But with this uh, this current, he feels like he's 100 pounds. Oh, all right, let me get my net. All right. Woo! <laughs> I think this one might have to go back. Here's the precarious part. I gotta net this sucker in this current. Meanwhile, Hoping my trolling motor doesn't give out and I start drifting towards the bridge. So, uh, a little bit of strategy happening here. And I also don't have the safety of the rail now. Big male blue. Definitely need a net man for this one. I think I might have a fish on this other rod. Oh man. All right. Got him in the net. Woo! All right. It's really not terribly big. Till this wake passes. Might might go thirty pounds. Man, he felt like.
felt like a world record in that tournament, guy, in that current, guys. Woo, that's a good fight. He would not come up. He was just sticking to the bottom. Thanks, guys. He was just sticking. He said, I'm not coming up. Thought he was going to be a flathead. I wouldn't have been surprised if it was, put it that way. All right. That poor Freddy Rod is getting abused right now. <laughs> With all that grass on it. All right. Uh, he got a huge head. He, he's a decent fish. He's a decent fish for sure. I'm going to weigh him. Definitely not a keeper. I mean, I could keep him, but, you know, I'm going to practice what I preach. Let me get this hook out. I know, buddy. That hook went in his bone. He wasn't going nowhere, son. That hook is lodging his bone. Get the pliers out. Come on, let go. There we go. That's what he hit right there. Big piece of rose shad, American shad. Uh, that's a 12 watt demon circle hook. Big brute demon dragon, dirty south edition. 80 pound monofilament leader. Ooh, that's in between my legs. And we got a, sheesh, come on. Get out of there. 10 ounce bank sinker with three-way swivel Andy monster line that's all the your product information there all right I'm gonna see if I can weigh him in the net all right what do I do with that scale I just brought it back here I should probably just get my sling out, but I'm going to try it like this. There we go. Oh, yeah. 30, 32 pounds. Okay, 32 pounds in the net, guys. 32 pounds in the net. Whoo! All right. Good fish. Nice first fish. There he goes. Let me show my GoPro real quick. About 30 pounds. Good fish. <laughs> Move y'all back so I can get a good picture of it. Nice first fish.
I'm gonna say I'm gonna catch fish for food all the time so that they'll be big ones. <laughs> this is definitely one you want to release definitely want to release these oh there we go guys Whew. big fat boy <laughs> good fish good fish There we go, all right. We're gonna let him go. Later, dude. Yep, he gone. Woo! Good one, good one, good one. All right. Breathing too hard. <laughs> so we'll say that net is two pounds. It's a 30 pound fish. I'll take it. All right. Sorry I wasn't reading chat. That was a good fight, man. That current really made it feel like a bigger fish than he actually was. Not that 30's a shabby fish at all, but. Let me get another piece of shad. That one kinda got tore up. Then I have to reel in all these, get the grass off of them. You know what they say about the first fish? Yeah, I know. The shizzle and them had a one fish day on Saturday and they didn't quite care for. Freddy rods all the way over across these other rods. I don't know how that happened. Unless it's got a fish on it. Ugh. Big pile of grass, like I thought. Oy. I gotta figure out how to reel in this Freddy rod, Freddy. Uh. Oh. I'm tired. This is what I'm dealing with right here. That's tough to reel through current. All right, let me get me another piece of shad. 
That, one, that shad's still on there, but pretty beat up. Yeah, it's pretty beat up. Rock the boat, don't rock the boat, baby. Rock the boat, don't tip the boat over. Maybe we'll get lucky, man. I'll throw that over. Put out another piece of shad. And, I mean, that was a pretty quick bite. I was sitting here pouting, getting frustrated with all the grass, and then the rod went over. Maybe I need to pout more often. There we go. Got another nice chunk of shad on there. Okay, okay, okay. I'm good, I'm good. I don't know what happened to that GoPro. That GoPro went off. All right, now we gotta reel these suckers in. Put all this grass on it. Of course, I could have kept that fish and that would have been enough fish that I needed all day. What do you guys think about that? Keep one big fish or let all the small ones go? See, many people argue both. Art said no. Letting everything go over 10 pounds. My threshold is about 15, 20. Hey, James. Like today, if that one would have been 20, I would have kept it. Still looks like a good bait there. Let's see.
This hook wants to get around my fuel line. Come on, hook. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're just gonna, and the carpet jumping, Marilla. Carp love current, apparently. So we're gonna let these soak for about five more minutes and then we'll find another spot. I think we got lucky we were in the right place at the right time when we dropped that bait. As you can see, this blue cat rod behind me has already been loaded up with grass. Loaded. But hey, we got one nice fish on the boat. Sixty two people in, seventy thumbs up. Appreciate it. Still can't believe I broke that rod this morning. That's crazy. Hmm. Everybody working today? Wishing they were fishing? <laughs> yeah blue cat swam in the grass just dead weight I 
I could find a place with no current, no wind, but I don't know how good the fishing would be. Sometimes it's a hit or miss, man. Thanks, Mike. Sometimes it's hit or miss, you know. You Sometimes the grass isn't very bad. You can just, you know, set rods out and just wait. There's one spot I know I can go with some current. It's another little ride up river. Probably be worth it, though. <laughs> it does. It does. Um, this grass is pulling drag back here. I think that's making my decision for me. This grass is pulling. Look at it. The grass is pulling drag now, guys. Isn't that crazy? Oh, man. Who was saying earlier their back was hurting? We'll reel this in and go find another spot. There's two reasons why the grass is flowing like it is right now. I suspect one is just a die off. You know, grass is starting to die and float down river. And then they've had this project all summer at one of the plantations when they're they're kind of like mowing the seaweed in front of this plantation so they can put a dock in there. And they're just churning it all up. And eventually, you know, it has to go somewhere so it comes out in the river. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Come on, reel. It's like reeling in a tuna. You gotta pull the line in while you reel. <laughs> what you got on there, tuna? No. I got tuna's bed. The bed of lettuce. I'm gonna break these rods in half. Yeah. The rod manufacturers don't need to go reel in sturgeon. They just need to come to the Cooper River and hook up to some grass. That's what they need to do. break the rod. I feel like I'm gonna break it in half. <laughs> Carp just jumped out there. All right.
Mike, if you ever wondered, carp love current apparently. They're down, they're jumping left and right over here. Strong current. <sighs> Not just Mike, but if anybody wondered. They look really, really dark too, almost black. Dan, if you come to, if you need two reels, man, I got you. Just message me and remind me. All right. DC Metro! <laughs> Thanks, Big Mike. Boom, 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 boom. My red. Big Mike, I hope I don't pull a, a big mic today. Hey, Dave. Y'all caught that 30-pounder on Saturday. That was it. Ooh. I've caught a 30-pounder today. 
I hope that's not it. <laughs> What's up, John boys? Moving to spot number three. Trying to get out of this grass. Hey, Tom. Tide might actually be shifting here in a minute. Yeah, man, always a good time to be out here. DC, I've caught one fish, it's 30 pounds. Hey, Captain Morgan. I'm trying to catch some eater fish. I got a whole cooler full of ice here. Mother Nature has hindered me keeping baits in the water. I keep having to pull them out and move. Biggest and the smallest is 30 pounds. <laughs> I've only caught one fish. Got a creek mouth close by. Yeah, we're heading up that way now. Thanks, Bobby. Yeah, it was a nice fish. It was a really good fight in that current. Hey, Lisa. The farther upriver we go, the less grass there will be. I'm pretty sure I can pick off some smaller fish if I can just keep the baits in the water keep the grass off of it so we'll head up here about another mile or so I'm in a no wake zone right now head up here about a mile to this creek mouth <laughs> tell me about it Dave yeah the smallest one I caught was 30 pounds what was the biggest 30 pounds <laughs> I don't get it yeah me neither I'm 
I'm trying to go again in the morning if my body will let me. I've gotten too heavy. I'm trying to lose some LBs. I'm stress eating, eating fast food too much. Always on the go, late nights. Yeah, for real. I've caught 300 pounds of grass. <laughs> I got I got grass on my trolling motor right now. I couldn't pick it off or else I'd be blown to the bridge. What's that tri-tune with a 350 horsepower on it? About 25 foot long. Looks like they're about to do some construction of that dock over there. Anna and I are looking at a house in this community. We can't afford any ones right here on the river, but depending on what happens to, with us in our house, we'd love to move to Pimlico. Own private boat ramp. I bet. That's what I'm saying. I ain't used to fishing. Going up and down boat ladders and, you know, bending over, hook things up. I got a lizard on top of my um, fish finder. I don't know if y'all can see him or not. All right, let's rock and roll. Come on, lizard. Nice and smooth up here. No, I wouldn't fry the fish. I um, I like to do fish tacos, but mainly the fish is for my mom. I mentioned earlier in the stream that she got sick, and kind of the only meat she likes is fish. So I told her I'd catch her some, get her some in the freezer. I just couldn't bring myself to keep keep that uh, 30 pounder. I think I'm gonna try this spot out. Might still be some grass, but I got a weird feeling about it. it. Looks good right now. You ever just look at a spot and be like, yeah, that looks good. Caught my PB here a couple years ago. Thanks, Ted. Appreciate you dropping by. Yeah, I'm hungry. Yeah, we'll stop here for a minute, throw out a few rods.
current's still moving pretty strong. Got this massive piece of bait here. It's basically the gut pocket. What do you think, guys? Big enough? <laughs> that brew to hold it up. This adds to the weight. I got the wheel in, <laughs> reel in if there's grass. <laughs> That's funny. Hey, fishing fever. All right. Another good chunk of shad right there. Pretty shallow. It is low tide. Freddy rod out there. Oh, fish! Woo! Oh my goodness, guys. He's peeling drag. Oh, did he come off? No, he ain't come off. Yeah, he did too. I think he came off, guys. There's no way. What the heck? Look at that. Look at that. Guys. The scale was on the tip of the hook. Let's throw it back out there. I don't need to sit here and cry about it. Well, no need to break all your other stuff either, Kevin. Sheesh, that was a monster. Oh man, that hurts. <sighs> that 
That hurts a little bit. Actually, I cleared the scales off too. Um, but that those shad have tons of scales on them. Big giant ones now. This is what it is. Goodness, goodness, goodness. Now, I do want to say that could have been a 20 pound cat. They hit hard like that all the time, but. Would have liked to have seen it. Could have been a gar too, I guess. Wasn't no baby, whatever it was. Not the pool drag like that. Oh man, my heart is pumping. How's that giant piece? And, and there's the other thing too, he could have, that bait is so big, he could have just grabbed the, uh, he could have just grabbed the back half of the bait too. So, let me get some more shad. I know what it was. The Lord was like, Kevin, you said you wanted eaters. That wasn't no eater. <laughs> Come on, hook, hook, hook in there. One more rod we can put out here. Maybe some of you can give me some advice on that. That fish was running and maybe I'm asking myself, why didn't I reel down? But in my mind, if the fish is running, then he's got tension on that hook and really I shouldn't have to reel down. I don't know, what do y'all think? That fish hit it like a ton of bricks and he was gone. Good morning, Daryl. He was not sticking around, that's for sure. I just wanted him to come back. Oh no, that, that drag was tight. He 
because I had to tighten it down to reel in the grass. So I just left it tight. I think that reel has 28 pounds of drag on it. I've only ever had one other one do that to me. And I was in that the fish I caught from that spot we started at today. Yeah. I'm thinking either that scale kept him from hooking up or he didn't have the bait all in his mouth or it was a gar fish. Yeah, that's right. We'll get the next one. Because that was a monster bait. I mean... Probably should have put two hooks in it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll get another one. Appreciate that. You're thinking it was a gar? We'll never know. That was a world record right there. These are actually, these hooks are a lot like sumo hooks. They're mustad demon. They look just like or sumo hooks look just like these. These have been around for a while. Could have been a shark too. Hey, could have been a shark. I feel good. I told you, I told you something looked good about this spot. Yeah, and it took no time. Hey, Terry. Yeah, I hadn't even got all the rods baited up. Got to be another one down there. Come on now. Something about that rig too. It's that same rod that the, uh, I got the first one on. It's on that Brute Demon Dragon. I got three big chunks of shad out there right now. This one might be hung up. Yeah, she's hung up. Come on, I was just saying good things about you. And you gotta go and get hung up like that. Figures. I can feel the weight. So it's not the weight.
I'll get it out when we move. Come on, big fat mama. Now I want a big one. <laughs> I wanted little fish, now I want big fat mamas. <sighs> this current looks like it's about to shut off. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Got some nibble nabbling. Flathead rod got some nibbles. And the mullet are jumping over there like crazy. We need the magic of Chris Flores in here. He needs to come in. <laughs> he needs to come in and bless the blue cat rod. Oh, oh, that was a better hit. The line went slack. That might be a crab down there. I thought we were far enough up. I have caught crabs up here before. I tell you what, I feel it already in my arms from reeling all that grass in. Cranking and yanking. That's what I should try to do tomorrow. I should try to drag the river tomorrow. Like put a real effort into it. I've done it before just because I was frustrated and nothing else was working. But I really didn't like put an honest effort into it because there's a lot of snags. What's up carpenter catfish? What's up bluegrass? But I have those new uh, Dragon Master weights and those floats. They might actually work I'm dragging this river. Baby snake. Mm, what's going on over here, huh? A little Paula rod action. You 
you know, this spot with the Paula rod in May of 2021, I caught a 52 pounder right here. That was probably it. And that first fish that got off, that was probably the one. It was that fish come back, and now he's like 70 pounds. Oh, 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 oh. What was that? <sighs> what the deal, you? Thought that was the one. Get it back out there. Yeah, this current is still rolling, but it's slowing down big time. Yeah, this rod over here, the Paula rod, just starts slowly going over. I guess it could have been a big hunk of grass. Definitely a much more peaceful spot than the last two or three. I am upset that this rod is hung up though. If y'all are wondering why I'm quiet, I'm thinking about it. Because it's on that side, it's on the shallow side. And now I don't have something fishing over there. Maybe, maybe I'll just reel one of these up and throw on the shallow side. Maybe that's what I do. This one doesn't feel like it has any bait on it. Nope. I am bait less. That's not good, old chap. Let me get a piece of bait there. So good call reeling that up anyway. Didn't have any bait. This one was uh, getting picked on down there. So This is a fillet of a gut pocket. It's probably gonna flat down there pretty good. A 
Oh yeah. We'll just move this anvil over here. Gotta take advantage while we still got the current. Unless the current stops, we can, um, I don't know. Actually don't know. Maybe we'll just suspend some baits while it's dead, dead tide, dead current, dead current. I probably need to put this bimini top out so I can get sunburnt. It'll be a distraction so that when a fish hits, I can go, oh, oh no. <laughs> hey, Cold Creek. All right. Righto, there we go. Fish and chips. Fish and chips, brisket and cheese. Tally ho. Yeah, you know, I don't, um, I hadn't really talked about that, but nothing wrong. I still like the anvil rods a lot. I like the company. But, uh, you know, I felt like I wasn't really doing them a service because I don't fish much anymore. Uh, just because my priorities have changed. And, uh, you know, a couple other people have dropped me or I have lost contact with because I'm not fishing anymore or not fishing as much. So um, I just called him up and said, hey, you know, no hard feelings, but I'm just not going to, uh, you know, just take me off the team or whatever. You don't owe me anything. I don't owe you anything. I, or actually, I told him I shipped the rods back if he wanted them. And he said, no, just use them, take a picture, and send it to me every once in a while. I was like, okay. So the only rods I never got rid of, I sold all the rest of my rods. But I got I kept all my muddy river rods because Chris is just, you know, one of my really good friends in the industry and I couldn't bring myself to get rid of them. And so uh broke those out just to try out some other stuff and you know, go back to where I started, where, you know, I was just, I promoted everybody. And, you know, if somebody sent me something, I'd use it and try it out. And there wasn't no conflict of interest. And that's kind of how I want to be again, because uh, I think, I'll just be, this is like total transparency, but like I kind of got into, before I got this new job, I kind of got into the money side of, 
YouTube, and I still like making money on YouTube. I'm not going to lie to you. But it's not as important to me anymore. So, you know, I just kind of let them. I do still have my discount code with PC Fun. PC Fun is like treating me really good. Um, they have a really good, uh, what do you call it, affiliate program. And so basically, if somebody uses my code, I get paid monthly, like on the same date. And I don't have to ask, I don't have to say anything, they just do it, even if it's like two bucks. And I really love the reels. And so Anvil, I really love the rods, I love the color, I love the action, I love everything about the rods. But, um, you know, I just figured I want to do what I want to do. And just like PC Fun, I could do whatever I, I could fish. I could fish with any reel I wanted and they wouldn't say anything. But it's different with the rods because it's so competitive that, um, you know, that wouldn't have been cool. So I called up Paul and we just had a nice conversation and it was professional and said, hey, I'm not going to any other brand. I just want to use what I want to use when I go fishing and kind of get back to how I started and he was cool with it. So I'll always have an anvil ride on the boat because I, I again, I love them, but I wanted to, I want to promote Chris. I want to promote Freddie. Um, you know, I had a trophy seeker or a trophy cat ride out here, but the tip broke off of it this morning. Uh, I got me a Hellcat coming in, a yellow Hellcat, heavy action. I need a heavy action for this river. Um, you know, if I can get a Mad Cat's rod, I'll fish with one of those. Just, I don't know. I miss doing that. I miss wearing my Patagonia hat. <laughs> you know, I love catfish. I love, I'll still wear my catfish hats. Um, I need to get me one of them sweatshirts they got, but like, I just want to, I want to do what I want to do. And that way there's no conflict of interest and nobody's upset. And, you know, if people want to send me stuff, I can use it and not be in violation of anything. Hopefully that make, makes sense. <laughs> so basically I'm sponsor less. I don't have any sponsors. My checkbook and my wife. <laughs> That's it. That wind's starting to pick up over here now. Carnivores are good. You gave two carnivores away? True. Yeah. Yeah, and I, I'll help anybody out. Barbie patrol rides. Because honestly, you, there's only one catfish rod that I've used that I just really didn't care for. I'm not going to name it, but. I hear you, Dan. I think it's when money's involved, it's easy to get mixed up and get your priorities out of whack. Now, if you're doing that for a living, you have to, though. Like Chunky and Haz and Ernie and them guys, they and Kayak Catfish and even, even the one we don't mention, you know, if you're doing this for a living, you have to, you got to do what you got to do to bring in revenue. I'll be back on the revenue stream one day when I um when I retire.
And I think, um, I think most of what people from outside the community watch is my camping videos. They love it when I camp on this boat. I was going to do that today and camp tonight, but it's just not going to be cold enough. Like, I wouldn't even need a sleeping bag tonight. All I need is a blanket. And both sleeping bags I got are like 10 and negative 20 bags. I will. She she went to work this morning. She's she's not off, but she'll be up there at CatCon with us. So we'll be at CatCon in February, and then her and I are going to Colorado to visit my grandmother. No, no twenty-four hour marathons. Like I said, I don't know if my body. I need to lose weight before I can do that again. When I started YouTube, I just lost 85 pounds. I was feeling good. I was very active. And then COVID kind of stopped. Stopped all that. You, know, you started getting sedentary and stuff. COVID and stress. <laughs> All right, it's 11.37, so let's say 11.45. We go try another spot. Current's about done here. I think mostly it's just the wind keeping us steady. Got 90 thumbs up. Let's get it to 100, y'all. I saw that on YouTube Live. Um, I just hadn't done it in a while. On your phone, you can go vertical now, like TikTok. And I was like, nah. Give me that wide screen. Yeah. See, I got, when I boat camp, though, I have my heater, and I can cook nice warm foods, and kind of be comfy cozy, like winter comfy cozy. But when it's 70-something degrees, you're gonna still going to have bugs. And you get that enclosure on, it gets hot in there pretty quick. Man, just that one big hit when we got here, and that's it, guys. That was strange. If you weren't in here, once we pulled up to this spot, I hadn't even gotten all the baits out, and one took off and was peeling drag. Once I picked up the rod, he was gone. He had been gone from here. Really ain't much you can do without the current. I might I might go up river and just suspend baits. Just let the wind kind of blow me down.
What's up, Maddie? Matt, I was using a trophy cat rod and the eye broke off of it this morning. It's the one uh, PJ, uh, PJ sent me a long time ago. Mr. Gadget won it from me, but I never got in touch with him again. And I hadn't seen him on YouTube in a while. So I pulled it out. I was like, let me use it. And I'm glad I didn't give it to him now. I don't know what happened. It's like the weld, the whole eye came out. The weld broke. Something. All right. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? What are we going to do? No, don't let PJ know. It was, uh, it's not, I'm not complaining. It's just, it sat in the tube. I don't know what happened. It could have got damaged. I could have stepped on it or something. I just thought of it when I saw you because I know you use Trophy Cat Tackle. I definitely don't need another one. He doesn't need to send me nothing. Because he sent that one to me for free to try out and to promote. All right, let's see what we can do. This ain't, this ain't working. I was fishing in the right spot. There's all kinds of logs down there. I can feel them coming up over the, feel the weights coming up over the ledge or over the debris or whatever it is. Oh, doctor said I need a bacchiotomy. <laughs> Nothing touched that chicken. Strange. Stranger things. All right, let's see if I can float back and retrieve this rig here. Ooh. Nope, don't turn that way. I believe I might have to pop this one. Uh, 
Oh, something came loose. Come on. <laughs> it's holding the boat. All right, trolling motor, engage. All righty. Total loss. But, I do have this three-way rig that I was using on that trophy cat rod that I can tie on. Ooh, that wind is picking up. All right, we're re-rigged. Huh, okay, let's take the troller motor out, okay. Let's go someplace and figure this out. Oh, man. Sorry for all the noises, guys. Give me a Diet Dr. Pepper here. The only thing this ice is keeping cold is my bait and my diet Dr. Pepper. I have not put any fish in the cooler. Although we did catch a nice 30 pounder. So at the end of the day, if that's all we got, we can be happy with that. You can still type it. Hurry, type it, hurry, hurry. Nope. No fish. Motor! Woo! <laughs> Make sure I didn't throw anything out of the boat.
go look at the cove over here. Should have brought some chapstick. Just the one, Bill. We got one 30 pounder and that's it. That last spot we had one ripping drag. Ripping, ripping, ripping. Just didn't get the hook. I just realized I didn't bring an anchor. <laughs> oh man. I could probably stick it up here though. I'd be okay. <laughs> I just drove into a lily patch. <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see that. I don't know if it'll stay though. I guess so. The wind is kind of blowing in this way. Nah, I don't like this spot. Nah. Let's get out of here. Too much wind. Too much wind. Too much wind. Oh no. Ooh. Trim down, trim down, trim down. There you go. Rookie. Try to go somewhere where I can get out of the wind. Oh man.
It's nice and smooth here. But there's no current right now. And I don't have an anchor. That's a nice corner over there. Let's keep moving. What's up, Sampy? What's up, Cindy? Three. Three more thumbs up. I had some seaweed. It sounded like something sprayed on me. All right, thanks, Dan. <laughs> ah, by the time you got here, I'll be ready to go. Oh, I see another pontooner catfishing. He didn't want to wave. We're gonna go right inside this creek. Boy.
Hmm. Let's see what the spot lock does for us. Oh, it's quiet right here. You know what I might do? <laughs> I might use this trophy cat rod that I broke. I might use it as a, a stake. Well, I know the rod's on seven foot, Never mind. Dang it. Why couldn't your rod be 12 foot long, PJ? Yes, sir. I'll pray. So you need, I don't understand. Okay, so. I will sure will. We got just the slightest bit of current coming in here. Just a little bit. Let me get some more bait. Big old American shad.
That's what the uh, the only two hits we got were on. See, this time last year, chicken was hot. It wouldn't eat anything but chicken. Yummy. All right, let me get the old anvil out there. And we fishing. Got that one on the three way. It's only about 12 or 13 feet here, guys. Very shallow. Very shallow. What's his name, um, Kelly? Be. All right. Heavenly Father, I just want to lift up Kelly Bullock, Lord, and his uncle Ed Godby, Lord. As you know, he's struggling with health, and I just ask that you uh, lift him up, that you heal him, Lord, that whatever your will is be done. And even if we don't understand, if it's not what we want, Lord, we just ask for understanding uh, that we know that your will is perfect. And your timing is perfect. And we just thank you for that in advance. Lord, be with Kelly. Help him be strong for his family. And uh, we just ask for a prayer of miracles and, uh, and healing, Lord. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Yeah, we do have a hundred. Look at that. Hey, Gene. Those of you just coming in, we um, first fish of the day was a it was a tank, a thirty pounder, and then uh, we've been struggling with the wind and the weeds all day, the grass. So we moved to like our third or fourth spot. And we had one nail it, and it was just rip and drag. What's up, Dustin? Rip and drag. The reel was locked down, and I was just sitting there watching it, getting it on film, and waiting until he kind of stopped running and we had to go pick it up and reel it in, and he wasn't there. And we've just had zero luck since then. And now they're pretty much at slack tide right now. we got a little current coming in this creek just because it's shallow and it's got to drain somewhere. So we'll kind of fish this little creek here until some real current starts and then we'll go 
right out this creek mouth over here and we'll just sit there. That might be the last spot of the day. We'll see. Uh, one thing though, I need to sit down and take a load off these feet. Oh, excuse me. Usually you couldn't anchor here because this is like bass mecca. People come in and out of here all day. All day. Let's see, how can I, how can I get comfortable here? <laughs> Sorry, I keep moving y'all around. Now tell me if I get a bite. <laughs> Back in this creek, the water is 59.95 degrees. I have a little action there on the depth finder. Like I said, it's only 13 foot here. Yep, a lot calmer. I'm out of the main channel. I'm blocked by two rows of trees now. Um, It's right behind it. I'm in the creek. Anna and I came shellcracker fishing over here one time. Man, we just spot locked. Again, I had forgotten my anchor that day too. But we were dealing with the same situation. Too much wind. No anchor. So we come over here and she just kept brim fishing and I threw out a couple catfish poles and bam, bam. We caught two that day. That was a long comment, Mike. <laughs> yeah. Oh, there's all some twist behind my back. A yellow rod. Rebel River Cats is in the house. I only got one other rod you can't see. That Paula rod's on the outside. It's not looking good for eater cats today. Hey, Ashley, happy Monday.
I hear you, Gene. I wanted to go to the lake, but it is too windy. I know I could catch eaters in the lake. I don't know, maybe that's why I like fishing the, uh, I like fishing the river more. The river is challenging. As you saw this morning, if you've been in here for a while. You got currents, you got dead tides, you got grass. Plus, you know, whatever you get hung up on. Wind. So right now the river is in slack tide. As soon as it picks up a little more, I'll go on the outside or the main channel right outside this creek. And I'll throw my baits right into the mouth of it. Of course, the water seems to be picking up pretty fast. It might have already switched that quick. Usually it's about 30 minutes, though. cove it just wraps around this is the rice fields if you go back if you keep going around this creek it gets about to about three feet of water you got to trim up in low tide or else you'll rip your transom off it's treacherous back here you got to know it for sure There might be enough flow right there in the mouth I can spot lock. Listen to me sounding like a real river cat fisherman saying words like flow, creek mouth. I sound like an epic catfish. Put me on a seminar. I know all the buzzwords backflow wing dike creek chub <laughs> I need a whiteboard and a lab coat what you're gonna want to do is get on the inside of the wing dike where your black flow is most prevalent those fish get in at about in that 33 degree current and stack on top of each other. But if it's a full moon, just forget about it. I'm an epic catfish. Timothy Catfish. Man, I thought we'd at least get a little one here. Come on, man. Hey, Lee, the temperature outside is probably getting close to the 70s. 
The water is 5992. Let's see if we can, let's see if we can make it move. Oh. Lost that bait. Hmm. I didn't see it doing weird stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Dr. Pepper. Thought we were done with the grass today. <sighs> Y'all call me a pansy, but man. This grass today. so bad. A three-way rig seems to get out of the grass pile a lot better. Sheesh. Where is Mr. Flores? I need him to bless my rod. The blue cat rod is hung up and I need him to get it for me. Oh, Chris Flores, where is your muddy river magic? Oh, Chris Flores, come and say hello to me. I'm dragging a water of grass. 
going around the corner to see if I can catch some cats. Oh, Chris Flores, where does your magic go? Oh, Chris Flores, I need some more river flow. A lot of sticks down there. Ho, 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 ho. Gross. Slime on top of the water. I can hear my troll motor shredding grass. There we go. Now we're moving a little better. What's up, Rion Bortz? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. I'm giving a lesson in horticulture. Now we've got slime. Goodness gracious, guys. Only someone who could really love the sport of fishing can handle this. I think otherwise I'd be crying.
All right. Now that I've lost everybody's attention. <laughs> That's okay. Don't you love the sound of slicing shad? Still so mushy. Not the greatest. Come here, little fella. Some nice fillets on there. All right. We are fishing once again. Sorry I've missed every single comment for like the past 30 minutes. This is a better spot. I feel more comfortable about the spot. That is the creek mouth we were just in. I don't know if you can see it right there. We went in and we were directly where we are right now, but on the other side of those trees. There's been some biggins caught right here. This one's already hung up in the grass. Hey, Salamat.
Thank you. Been driving. I'll give it 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes. What's up, Art? If we don't get anything, I'll just uh, cut the live stream and... Hey, Dale. It's been a decent day. I just, you know, we've had just uh, frustrating things, grass and wind. We caught a decent fish, though. First, first and only fish we've caught today. About 30 pounds. We had another one, seemed like a giant, rip and drag, but he didn't get the hook. So we'll never know about that one. But nothing, nothing other than those two hits, which is very odd. But, uh, you know, I keep having to take the, the bait out of the water to get the grass off. But you can't catch fish with the, no bait in the water. Unless you're noodling, true, 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 true. I would not, I don't think I'd ever noodle. Definitely not around here. We got too many alligators and snapping turtles and snakes. And Something about sticking your hand in a hole just don't just don't appeal to me. Especially not the river. The lake, maybe. Come on fish, we need some signs of life. Gotta be something down there that's hungry. I can't even make a video with one fish. Some guys can, I just can't, I can't do it. Unless it was a monster.
Jeez. Whew. All right, guys, I think I'm going to call it for the live stream today. I'm gonna keep fishing, but uh, you know, just sitting here trying to entertain and stay out of grass is just, I don't know, it's frustrating. And I don't think it's very entertaining. <laughs> but I might uh, sit back here and just relax. Let the rods soak and um, if I get into them again, maybe I'll go live or maybe I'll just put it out in a video, guys. But. Uh, Anyway, I appreciate all of you that have been in here today. Thank you for uh, coming by and hitting that thumbs up. I know it's been a while, um, but we'll, uh, man, there's another big, gra I got to get this rod up real quick. Goodness gracious. Hold up. Like a big slime ball coming by. Yeah, I just threw this back in. It's already covered in grass. Ugh. Anyway, guys, I appreciate you. Heavenly Father, thank you for this day. Thank you for the weather you provided. Lord, thank you for the fish we caught today. And Lord, I just thank you for all the people that came in and watched today. And I just ask that you bless them. Uh, keep me safe out here. And Lord, and until we all meet again, I just ask that you keep everybody safe and bless them. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, y'all. Until next time. Happy fishing. Love y'all.